This is day seven of the government shutdown, and House Speaker John Boehner says he sees no way out unless President Obama is willing to negotiate, but the White House refuses to stall health care reform. Meanwhile, a group of pediatricians is protesting the shutdown's impact on children. Our John Gonzalez has that story. On this now the seventh day of the government shutdown, pediatricians from around the country started gathering on the steps of the Longworth building on Capitol Hill early this morning. Shutdown is affecting children terribly. Pediatricians and healthcare leaders joined by med students from Children's, GW, and Johns Hopkins hospitals. Priya Gupta is seeing the impact on two different levels. She's not only a young doctor in Baltimore, but also a new mother. Our WIC moms and, and children are really being affected. Um, as a breastfeeding mother myself, I can really appreciate what um, not getting those food stamps must mean for them. Marsha Rollerson, a pediatrician from Alabama, says the impact is not only affecting her livelihood, but creating a great impact on her patients. About 69% of them are on Medicaid, and the majority rely on Head Start programs. So I've actually used my own money to purchase vaccines to give to children who are on the Vaccine for Children program. And at some point we'll run out, essentially. Well, it's not, I actually did run out last week. Last year, more than one in five children lived in poverty and more than 17 million families lived under what is known as food insecurity. Just some of the facts on this sheet that these doctors will be passing out at each congressional office here at the Longworth building. The question though is, with the shutdown, how many people will be inside to hear their cries? With flu season upon us, these doctors worry about vaccines being delayed and the popular WIC program quickly running out. To us, the biggest things that affect children are some of the nutrition programs through women, infant and children's, the issues with not having Head Start programs open. On Capitol Hill, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.